it's another big game tomorrow. Another big game. They're all big games at this stage of the season, aren't they? Especially when you've got something to fight for. I mean, if you're sitting in mid-table, not so much. But we're not. We're fighting for those European places. So we do have something to fight for. And if we want to achieve four consecutive seasons in Europe, these are the games that we need to be winning. Games that we should be winning. And Fulham is definitely a game, uh, especially at home, that we should be winning. Because historically, this is a team that we have done fairly well against, despite that 5-0 loss at Craven Cottage earlier this season, which was by far the worst performance I've seen West Ham put in this season. Um, embarrassing does not quite describe it. We, we have done really well against Fulham over the years. Uh, in the last 20 years, we've played them 25 times. We've won 14, we've drawn 6, and we've, we've only lost 5. And, and at home, we've been especially good because they have not beaten us at home uh, since 2004, and that was a, an FA Cup loss. Uh, 3-0. Uh, we haven't lost to them in the league at home since 2001. So yeah, that, that is uh, something I hope we keep intact tomorrow. Something I hope we do not keep intact though, is our record after playing away in Europe um, this season. Because we've played four away games in Europe this season, and the Premier League game we play after, we haven't won any of those yet. No, we've, we've drawn three and we've lost one, but we have not won any of them. So that is something that I really hope that we do rectify tomorrow. Now, is Moyes going to be keeping one eye on the Bayer Leverkusen game on Thursday? Uh, yeah, I, I do think he will because, you know, we do still have hope in that game. There is still a little bit of hope. Not not a huge amount, but there still is hope. So, yeah, I think Moyes may be keeping one eye on that game. So, I think he might rest Antonio because I thought Antonio gave their defence a lot of problems. They did struggle to handle him. So, a fully fit, fully rested Antonio could be really beneficial on Thursday. So, he might rest him. He might bring in Ings. That's another player who I think could play a part. In Thursday's game, so maybe giving him a bit of game time could be beneficial for Thursday's game too. Uh, obviously, Pakatar and Emerson are both suspended for the game uh, on Thursday, so uh, they both will start and they can be fully focused on this game, which is a positive for this game, not so much for the second leg against Bayern Leverkusen, but it is a positive for this game. Um, I think Mavropanos won't play. I think he went off with a, a small injury, so... He probably won't be available, so you might see a Gwed come in. Ariola is still out, so Fabianski will keep his place in goal. Um, you might see a change like Johnson come in at right back, so fell maybe. But I think pretty much you'll, you'll, you'll be a very similar team. You'll see Walprouse in there. You'll see Sochek in there. Uh, Kudus will probably start as well. And I would actually play Ings and Kudus up top together. I think that could work really well, especially if you've got Pakistan just sitting behind. Now, as I said, like, we need to get the win in this game tomorrow. We, we, we really, really do. But this season, we seem to struggle in these games. We really do. Uh, our last three games at home, we have, we have drawn. So I don't think anyone will be surprised if it does end the draw. But as I say, I really hope it doesn't. Uh, I hope we put in a very strong performance, a really positive performance, uh, where we take the game two for them. And I think if we do that and we get a strong win, it will, it will really help the confidence going into the game on Thursday and it will help the crowd as well. If they see a positive and, and uh, strong performance, then it might give the, the, the crowd a little bit more hope for the game on Thursday too. So, yeah, not only getting the win is important, I think putting in a really strong, positive performance tomorrow is important too. Now, if you want to watch a more detailed match preview, I have posted one over on my YouTube page. So the, the link is below. So if you want to go and watch a more detailed match preview, I spout off a, a load of stats, uh, some interesting information as well, including some team news about Fulham. Uh, then, yeah, head over there, uh, give that video a watch. And while you're over there, if you want to hit the subscribe button as well, I would greatly appreciate it. So, yeah, I'm going to hope for a very positive performance. On Sunday, I will be there uh, cheering the guys on as per usual. So if any of you there, uh, see ya. So make sure you come and say hi. Always happy to, to meet anyone. Really, really am. And yeah, I'm hoping for a positive performance, but I, I just fear it's going to be another one of those edgy, <laughs> lacklustre kind of games where we do struggle for a bit. Maybe a game of two halves again. I hope it isn't. I really hope it isn't. I hope it's a positive performance and a positive result. Um... But yeah, I do fear it. I don't think we're going to lose it. I don't think we're going to draw it. I do think we're going to win. But I'm going to go for a tight 2-1 win in this game. I am. So uh, let me know your thoughts and your predictions in the comments section. And yeah, as I say, if you're there, hopefully I see you there on Sunday. Come on, you irons.